notorious gangster who once tricked the Home Secretary into early release torched a £70,000 Range Rover in a row over debt. Sheffield Crown Court heard Liverpool career criminal John Huss committed the arson offence in March 2020 in Sheffield while on licence from prison. Huss, who is now 74 and is at HMP Franklin, was subsequently recalled to serve the remainder of a 22-year prison sentence. On Thursday, he was jailed for nine years for the arson attack. The court heard how Huss had been recruited as a criminal enforcer to collect outstanding debt while out on license. In 2008, he was jailed for conspiracy to pervert the course of justice in relation to a royal pardon obtaining by providing bogus tip-offs about firearms. John Huss and his nephew Paul Bennett told police about 150 guns supposedly hidden around the UK between 93 and 95 to secure a reduction in his jail sentence. Then Home Secretary Michael Howard signed off on the deal resulting in the early release of John Huss and Bennett who had only served 11 months of their 18 year sentences for heroin smuggling. Judge Jeremy Richardson told Sheffield Crown Court how on the 14th of March 2020, John Huss set a Range Rover on fire after being unable to enforce the payment of a debt. John Huss denied the offence but was found guilty of arson with recklessness as to whether life was endangered following a trial in November 2023. During the sentencing hearing on Thursday, Judge Richardson told Huss, when you could not enforce payment of a debt, you resorted to what can only be described as a form of terror tactics of committing arson at the home of the family of the person who apparently owed the debt. There was significant risk of serious harm and substantial damage by what you did. This was plainly a planned and premeditated attack with fire. Judge Richardson said that Huss had no previous crimes of arson to his name. He had significant previous convictions dating back to 1966 involving robbery, drugs and firearms. There is then the exceptionally serious matter of conspiracy to pervert the course of justice in 2008. Judge Richardson told him, the criminal cunning of that matter is truly breathtaking. Judge Richardson said Huss posed a significant risk to members of the public and had a proven track record of committing exceptionally serious and dangerous crimes. He sentenced Huss to nine years in prison made up of five years in custody and four on license. Judge Richardson added, It is as plain as plain could be that you are a dangerous criminal. When you asserted to me you are not, that can only be described as arrant nonsense. Huss, who is already serving the remainder of his 22-year sentence, will remain behind bars until June 2030. Now then, people, I'm just bringing you a roundup of the news. I'm doing it a little bit different. Let us know in the comments what you think of it. And as usual, if you are enjoying the content, remember to comment, like, and subscribe.